When anybody decides to become a master at something, they say, I want to get good at doing X. I want to do something. Oftentimes what happens is the intention that you put forward can make it difficult. And a lot of times there are certain personality types that will approach mastery in different ways and we all have in different ways of approaching it. When I was in the games industry I felt like all of my creative juices were going into something that I, I wasn't sure was what I wanted to do. A lot of times the work was drudgery and it was technical and there was nothing about it that I could show my friends and say, hey, look what I made. Because everybody was doing one tiny little piece of a gigantic project and I never felt any ownership over anything. So I felt like it was really frustrating to be working on all of these things and to not feel like I was in control of the design. So doing my own independent work gave me this tremendous amount of freedom and has been a great source of joy for me to be able to make those. The key is to persevere and to ride out those points of boredom, those backslides, when you feel like you're not making any kind of progress, those are the times to really hunker down and keep going. One thing that somebody who's on the path of mastery needs to learn to love is the plateau, where you don't seem to be doing any better or no worse, but it doesn't seem like there's any way up or down. You just keep going forward and there doesn't seem to be any progress made or anything. And it can be frustrating, but those are sort of incubation periods, I feel, where you actually are still making more connections in your brain about how to draw better the tools and technology that you're using, but it's not happening in a way that's immediately tangible. So those things will take time to all come together and coalesce into a new level of understanding.